I bless you. Today I want to talk about the fear of God. The Bible tells us the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. But many people today don't have the fear of God. Many Christians, they preach, they go to evangelism, they sing. They do many things in the name of Jesus, but their life is full of sin. They will tell you Jesus is Lord. Give your life to Jesus. Themselves, they have double life. Brother and sister, the Bible tells us we need to be example. Before you go and say, I want to save somebody, make sure that yourself, you are following Jesus. But the fear of God today have left the heart of many people. People can steal, they can lie, they can have double life. They will see come to church, they will preach, they will mention Jesus, they will be living their life like everything is okay. They don't have the fear of God. They will not even have conviction like, hey, I'm living in sin, I need to repent. They keep going, mission, preach the gospel, talk about Jesus Christ, preach the gospel, even rebuke people, but they are love themselves full of sin. Let me tell you something. The Bible tells us the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. We are living in the day that is no good. Many people preach Jesus, but themselves they don't follow Jesus. Many people tell you Jesus is good. Give your life to Jesus. But themselves not yet give their life to Jesus. Many people will tell you, oh, if you die without Jesus, you will go to hell. Themselves they don't follow in Jesus. They have double life. They are adultery. Some of them full of gossiping, manipulation, involving witchcraft, you know, all this double life. But they will still pray Jesus to you. I don't know, winning soul is the most important who giving your own life to Jesus. You need to understand something here. Obedience is more than sacrifice. It's good to go outside and to say, Jesus, Jesus, but yourself, you are not fully. I think that all your work is in vain. Jesus Christ tell us on that day, many will come and say, Jesus, in your name, I have preached. I have done so many things. Jesus will say, I never know you. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So, surrender to Jesus. Humble yourself. Allow Jesus Christ to change you, to transform you. Before you go upside there and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Because you're preaching Jesus, but you have double life. You are living in the adultery. You are lying. You are gossiping. You are manipulating people. You have so many illegal things that you are doing in secret. Let me tell you, God see all these things. In the day of judgment, this will find you. The Bible tells us on that day, many will say, Lord Jesus, in your name we have done so many mighty work. The Lord Jesus said, I never know you depart from me, you evil. Because you do so many mighty work in the name of Jesus, but yourself, you have double life. I hope this video will help you. Not just think about saving people, think also about your life. Not just talk about evangelism, preaching, go to mission, but think also about be honest, be example, be the feet of Jesus, be the tongue of Jesus, follow Jesus. Okay, not just talk about Jesus, 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 but at the same time, you forget about yourself. No, save yourself first. The Bible tells us, remove first what is inside your eye. So you can see clear. And then you can help your friend. You're going to the street, preaching the gospel. And say, repent. Give your love to Jesus. But yourself, you are not going to give your love to Jesus. You say, oh, adultery is wrong. But yourself, you are living into adultery. You say, stealing is wrong. But you are stealing. You smoke drug is wrong. But yourself, you are doing, you are selling. Manipulating, cheating is wrong, but you are doing all these things. Let me tell you something. It's better to pray, ask God to help you. Okay? Go close to Jesus. And this way, when God will sanctify you, God will use you as an example. Like when people see you, they will see Jesus. They will, they will say, I see something in you. I have seen change. I have seen that, you know, you are not like before. You know, when you, I know you before, but right now, I can see Jesus. They will come to Jesus. Not because you speak a lot, but because they see your love. They see the transformation. But many Christians today, they speak, they speak, they speak, and but their love is, there's nothing there. That's why there's no change. We have many Christians, pastor, bishop, prophet, prophet, you know, a lot of people outside there. They will be mentioned Jesus every single day, but they are love full of sin. If you don't repent, 
this world will find you. Jesus said, on that day, many will say, Jesus, in your name we have done so many mighty works. Jesus said, I never knew you. Depart from me. Because you say Jesus, you go to street to street to share the gospel. You travel to going, you travel, you go to mission to share the gospel. Different country. They see you as a good person, but you have double life. This we found you in the day of judgment. Jesus said, the foolish person is the person who built his horse in the sun. Okay, meaning those who hear his word, they enjoy. Okay, they are busy, say they are serving God, but they forget their own life. But the wise, Jesus tells us, he builds his horse in the rock. That means he believes, he dwells in it, he follows Jesus and allows Jesus to transform him. He becomes an example. In this way, on that day, he will be safe and also with the people that he's preaching. Okay, even if we have even power to preach the gospel and people will believe when you are living in sin, which power you have? You have, you are nothing. Your world is empty. You know, Paul goes somewhere. He was preaching the gospel. People want to copy Paul. And you know, they was casting the evil spirit. The evil spirit asked to them, "Yes, I know Paul. I know Jesus. But who are you?" The Bible tells us that the evil spirit cast them away, fight, beat them, and they leave the place, run away. But the evil spirit said, "I know Paul. I know Jesus because Paul was real." So when you are not real. All these things you are saying, evangelism, preaching the gospel, preaching in the church, go to me, it's empty. There's nothing there. You are weak. Your world has no power because you are fit. So repent. The Bible tells us the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. May this video help you. I'm not sharing this video to condemn you, but I'm telling you, watch, make sure that you are following Jesus. Okay? Jesus is the way, the truth, and love. May God bless you.